Today we're going to demonstrate the characterizations feature within the Atlas platform. On the left hand side you'll see a menu item called characterizations. If you click there you'll be brought to a list of existing characterizations and also have the ability in the top right to click the blue button that says new characterization. So let's look at a characterization analysis. I'm going to select this one called characterization of first line monotherapy for hypertension. By clicking on a characterization, we're brought up to a characterization design screen. Now, characterization is defined as the process of generating cohort-level descriptive summary statistics from person-level covariate data. And here, we have multiple selections that we make as a user. We have to select one or more cohorts that we want to use to perform the characterization. We then need to select one or more features which represent the baseline characteristics that we want to use to summarize those cohorts. And then we optionally can define subgroup analyses and additional feature parameters. In this particular case, uh, I have selected two cohorts to summarize. The cohort of new users of ACE inhibitors as first-line monotherapy for hypertension and the second cohort of new users of thiazide-like diuretics as first-line monotherapy for hypertension. These were selected by clicking the Import button beneath the cohort definitions title. And had I selected the Import button, we would see a full list of all cohort definitions that are available in your Atlas platform, and you can simply select one of them to add it to your list. To select features, we similarly collect, click the Import button, and here we can select from a large collection of baseline characteristics that have already been configured within the system. This table of existing features to select from is organized in such a way that you can sort on its name, or you can search for any particular value, or you can filter your list based on the facets on the left-hand side. For example, if we would like to see what demographic preset features are already available. We can select the demographics here and we can see uh, 11 options to choose from, including baseline characteristics based on age and age group, ethnicity, gender, index year and month, uh, and the observation time pre and post index. To add covariates to features to your analysis, simply select the checkbox and click import. In this particular analysis, I've selected the following 13 features that we are going to summarize, and I'll walk through them here. We have a Charlson index, which is going to compute the Charlson comorbidity index and provide a distributional value for those. We have condition group era long term. This is a baseline characteristic of uh, the prevalence of individual condition concepts and their descendants in the 365 days preceding uh, the index date. We've got demographic variables for age, age group, gender, index month, index year. We are, can characterize the length of time observed post, in, post index date of the, the cohorts as well as prior to index. We can characterize drug exposure that occurs prior to the index date. We can look at the existence of measurements, procedures. We can also look at uh, continuous valued count of the number of visits in a preceding period of time. A user can select whatever set of features they want before deciding to ultimately execute this analysis. So here we have specified two different cohorts and 13 baseline characteristics that we would like to summarize as part of this characterization. To run an analysis, simply go to the execution tab where you'll see each of your sources that are configured in your atlas. And to run the analysis, you click generate. Once the generate is complete, you can view your latest results simply by clicking view latest results. By clicking view latest results, the, re the results will populate in the following report. You have the ability to filter your results to any of the cohorts that you have defined. 
you have the ability to look at one or more cohort at a time. In this particular case, we will show both cohorts side by side. You can additionally filter to whichever set of analyses you are interested in looking at. Here we will review all of the analyses that we executed. And we can also explore this information by filtering on the particular domains of those analyses. The first tabular and graphical display presented shows the prevalence of all binary baseline covariates. So in this particular case, we see here a table that shows the covariate, its concept ID, and then we have our target cohorts the cohort of new users of ACE inhibitors, that's first-line monotherapy for hypertension, and the second cohort of new users of thiazide-like di diuretics as first-line monotherapy for hypertension. The last column here represents the standardized difference, which is computed on the basis of the difference of the percentages in these two groups. So as an example, if we were to look at this first row, diuretics, as a class of drugs, we can see that 100% of the new users of thiazide diuretics have a record of diuretics. That makes sense because it's part of the definition of the cohort. Whereas in contrast, we can see that only 0.01% of the new users of ACE inhibitors had some prior record of diuretics. If we look at the second record, we see a class of drugs of blood glucose lowering drugs excluding insulins. And we can see in this particular case that 17% of the new users of ACE inhibitors, but only 4% of the new users of thiazide diuretics have a prior record indicating uh, use of a diabetic treatment. This table represents all of the baseline covariates that have been computed. In this particular analysis, we're looking at 2,000 different binary covariates. That table is quite large, but can be searched for any particular concept. For example, we might be interested in diabetes. You can type the word diabetes and all concepts that contain that term will appear. You can also additionally export the entire data set as a CSV file that could then be opened up in uh, your favorite uh, data editor. In addition to the tabular display, the, the information in this table is also rendered graphically in this uh, scatter plot shown here. On the x-axis here, we have the prevalence in the cohort of new users of ACE inhibitors, and on the y-axis, we have the prevalence as represented by the new users of the thiazide diuretics. Each dot in the graph represents one of these baseline characteristics. Hovering over the dot can provide you the information associated with what concept it is and what is the prevalence in both the x and y dimension. The colors of the dots represent the data domain for which they come from. This graph can be useful for you to identify baseline characteristics that may make two populations differ. In this particular case, we can see that the baseline prevalence of diabetes is quite higher in the cohort of new users of ACE inhibitors as compared to new users of thiazide diuretics. In addition to this table that summarizes all the baseline prevalences, there are additionally tables that stratify the information for each of the analyses performed. Here, for example, we can see the demographics of index year so that we can look to see how the new users of ACE inhibitors and new users of thiazide diuretics were introduced to the cohort over time, and the graphical display shows you whether or not there are differences in that distribution. For continuous valued scores, such as the Charlson index, we actually see distributional statistics provided. Here we can see that the new users of ACE inhibitors have a Charlson index that's an average of 1.38. In contrast, new users of thiazide diuretics had an average Charlson index of 0 0.95, indicating that these populations are different on the basis of their baseline comorbidity status. As you scroll through the page, you can see each of the individual feature analyses that were requested are performed and, and laid out so that you can search and explore these results as you see fit. If I scroll back up to the top of the page, uh, I will highlight that the Utilities tab provides a 
the ability for a JSON expression to represent this entire characterization analysis. And that expression can then be imported and exported across any Atlas platform across the Odyssey community. So once you have designed this analysis specification that provides a set of cohorts and a set of features, not only can you execute that analysis yourself locally within your own environment, but you can also share that analysis with the community to perform uh, Odyssey network research. That's it for the characterization feature. If you're interested in learning more about other features in the Atlas tools or learning more about the Odyssey community, uh, please check out all the information we're providing at odyssey.org.